Hello everyone in Facebook land. Welcome. I'm going to do a really quick, really short impromptu Facebook live because I got some things that I want to say and I want to say them to you guys. So happy. What's today? Monday. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> um, let me introduce myself because I know we're always having new, new parents. Uh, come into the group every single day. My name is Brianna. I'm the founder of this group and I help teen girls and young women end the vicious cycle of their mental health challenges so that they can rise above them and truly start loving themselves from the inside out. And I want to just share a little something from today's group coaching session. Gloria, I miss you. Aww. Um, I want to share a little something from today's group coaching session that really, uh, God, there's so much, there's so much to share. I'm not going to share it all, but I had a girl say to me, um, I don't know how to be okay. I had a teen girl say, I don't know how to be okay. And when we dug in a little bit deeper, she has a whole history and a whole lifetime of suffering. Hey, Noreen, of suffering and struggling and anxiety and depression. And she, so she has this whole identity around struggle, right? So when she said to me, I don't know how to be okay, she's really basing that off of her past. Now, here's what I want to share with you parents, because this is really, really important stuff. And it's so important for your daughter to take control of her mental health, for your daughter to take control of ultimately her whole entire life. She cannot, she cannot start changing her life as she carries everything from the past. Now, please don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that she can't heal. It doesn't mean that she can't. I mean, a big, a big part of my program is helping these girls to heal from their traumas, heal from their past, you know, process through their emotions and their feelings in a healthy way. We do all of that, all of that. But at the same time, your daughter also has to be able to learn how to create a new identity. And what I'm going to say to you guys right now is this. Most girls are creating an identity based on their past selves of who they've always been up until now. Now, why is that a problem for most girls? Because if who they've been up until now, let's say your daughter has been struggling with her mental health for four years, three years, two years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years, 10 years. Your daughter has been struggling for a long time with her mental health. So why is that a problem for her to be carrying around this old identity of struggle, of suffering, of anxiety and depression? And this is who she's trying to create a new future based on who she's been in the past? You can't create a new identity holding on to the old one. It just doesn't work. So if your daughter wants to change her life, the identity has to change. Who she has always been up until today, if her identity is not serving her, if she's anxious, if she's depressed, if she's cutting, if she's suicidal, if she has an eating disorder, if she hates herself, I'm here to tell each and every one of you that old identity is not serving her because that old identity is the one that has helped to create the suffering and the struggle. So we can't create a new identity based on the old past version of your daughter. You want a new daughter? You want a daughter who loves herself? You want a daughter who's healed? You want a daughter who takes charge in her life? Who's like, yeah, I've got ambition, I've got goals, I'm like, I'm going somewhere. If you want a daughter like that, it's called an identity shift. It's not just like, oh, let's just, you know, do a little bit of healing work and clear up the past. Don't get me wrong, that's important, but your daughter needs more than that. The healing work alone doesn't change your daughter's future and her whole reality because we've got to get clear on who does your daughter want to be? Where does she want to go? How does she want to feel? This is the makings of a new identity. By the way, if you're watching me live, comment below live. If you're watching the replay, comment below replay. So I know people are watching and also so this can be picked up by people as they come into the group um, and it doesn't get lost in the all the things that we put in here in the Facebook group, right? So if your daughter new reality, if your daughter wants to create 
a new life for herself that doesn't include anxiety, that doesn't include depression, that doesn't include all of the suffering, then it's really about, okay, I've been over here. I've been over here. <laughs> I've been in the struggle, okay? I've been in the struggle. I've been in the victimhood. I've been in the, I've been in my trauma. I've been in all of that stuff. And that's where I've been living, over here. But what if I go over here? It's gonna be scary. It's gonna be uncomfortable. <gasps> I don't know, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know, it's really hard. Oh my God, I don't know if I could do it. And this is, this is kind of what happens with the girls in my program. They're like, it's like, they're tiptoeing. They're like, but this is all I know. This is all I know. I've, 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 been, I've been anxious and depressed forever, Brianna. I've been anxious and depressed for five years, for six years, for seven years. Struggle, suffering, it's all I know. And what we're teaching them and showing them how to do is, sweetheart, I know it feels safe in the struggle. I know it feels safe in the suffering. But what if you just dipped your toes over here? What if you just dipped your toes in a little bit of joy? and a little bit of happiness, and some hope, and some positivity, and some abundance. Now over here is your daughter's new reality. Over here is your daughter's new identity. Now the problem that most girls are having is they're not coming over here. <laughs> they're staying over here. Why? Because it's where they've been for so long, and suffering, and struggle, and hardships it's just second nature to them they know anxiety they could write a book on anxiety they could write a book on depression it's all they know you think your daughter knows anything about happiness and joy and positivity if she's been struggling for years she doesn't even remember what it feels like to be happy she doesn't even remember this is the work you want your daughter to change her life? You want your daughter to step in a whole new reality? It's called an identity shift. Yes, we've got to heal the trauma. Yes, we've got to heal the past. Yes, we've got to do all that. And yes, your daughter has to process through her emotions and her feelings in a healthy way. Yes, 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 yes. We do all of that in my program. But you know what the other biggest thing that we do that I'm not seeing out there with all the other things that these teen girls and young women are trying is identity shift. Who your daughter has been up until now is no longer working for her if she has been struggling in her life. It's as simple as that. So for your daughter to come from over here, struggle, suffering, hardship, and for her, <laughs> to go over here, it's called an identity shift, like I said. And I'm gonna, t I'll be straight with you guys. Your daughter is not gonna be able to do this on her own. You know why? Because your daughter is not an expert. Your daughter doesn't know the first thing about changing her life, about stepping into a new identity. So many girls are like, they have so much self-sabotage. They have so much like getting in their own way. They have these blocks, they have the, like all of it. And it's fascinating and interesting to me because we seek out experts for so many different things in our lives, right? If you send your daughter to a college, you don't have your, your, you don't have your daughter learn all of her college courses on her own. You have her learn by professors, right? Well, it's like the same thing goes for mental health, right? You can't just expect like, oh, my daughter will figure it out, right? And a lot of girls are like, oh, I don't need the help. I can figure it out. They're lying to themselves. They're lying to themselves thinking that they can figure it out because they're no experts in any of this, right? And so it, it takes an expert. It takes someone who has walked so many girls out of the darkness and into the light. It takes somebody like that to be able to take your daughter and say, I see you, sweetheart. I see you. I know your story. I know what you've been through. I hear you. I have so much love and compassion for you. And 
it's time to move forward. And it's time to go over here into who you want to be, where you want to go, and how you want to feel. Because your daughter doesn't have the capacity to do this for herself. If your daughter has been struggling with anxiety and depression and self-harm and, and suicidal thoughts and uh, eating disorder and maybe even suicidal wow. attempts, your daughter doesn't have the capacity to pick herself up and say, hey, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some positive thinking. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to, Annabelle. My dog wants to go in. I'm going to wrap this up in a minute. Your daughter doesn't know how to do any of that. And the work that she's doing in therapy is completely different than what we do in my 12 week coaching program. I'm not knocking therapy, but therapy tends to focus on like the past. Like what's happened? What, what have you been through? Let's go through that. Let's go through that. Let's go through that. And the, one of the biggest differences in the work that I do with teen girls and young women is Yes, we heal from the past. We go through and we process through those feelings and emotions in a healthy way. You can't create a new future if you don't heal from your past. But here's the difference. I don't keep your daughter in her past. We don't week after week after week after week be like, let's go revisit the past and like stay there, hang out there, build a campfire there and you know, kumbaya and all the things. No. We also have to visit the future that hasn't been created yet. But here's the powerful thing about life and the powerful thing about your daughter that she just doesn't even know yet. She's a powerful creator. Your daughter can manifest a beautiful life for herself. And I think the thing that is so twisted with, you know, mental health and, and what all these girls think about their mental health is, you know, they think that they're broken. They think that there's something wrong with them and they feel so disempowered. And the thing that my coaching program does for these girls is we give the girls back their power. We give them their strength that was lost somewhere. It's not like, it wasn't like gone forever. It's still inside of them. But somehow along the way, if your daughter's been struggling for a long time, she's lost that feeling of empowerment. She's lost that feeling of hope right? And what we do is we give it, we give this back to the girls in my program. We say, Hey, you're not a victim. You can do so much with your life, but it's up to you. You want a new life. You better start creating it. You better start creating a life of what you want. And again, this is based on future, not based on a life of suffering, right? Because there's two ways that your daughter can go. Last thing I'm going to say and then I'm going to go. Your daughter can go this way and she can live in the past. But if she chooses to do that, she gets more suffering. She gets more anxiety. She gets more depression. She basically gets more of everything that she's been struggling with. And nothing's going to change. Or she can move this way, which is to the future. Right? And she could create a future that hasn't happened yet. But she can start creating it now. And she can start rehearsing it now. And she can start believing in it now. And she can start creating a new identity that's going to shift everything for her. This is unlike any program that I've seen out there for teen girls and young women. If you would like more information, my masterclass, I will leave the link below. Check it out. Healing the new medicine for anxiety and depression. Look, we've helped hundreds and hundreds of girls transform their lives. And every single girl thinks, you know, they usually come into the program and they're like, I'm different. You can't, you can't help me. I know you helped all these other girls. And a lot of you parents think the same thing. Well, my daughter is different. My daughter has been through X, Y, Z, and you haven't seen anything like my daughter. And I'm here to tell you, it's probably not true because of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of girls. I mean, we might even be in the thousands now. I lost count. I don't count anymore. But the, fa but the truth is we know what we're doing. We know how to take your daughter from a whole lifetime of suffering and struggling and anxiety and depression and eating disorder and suicidal thoughts and cutting and whatever else she may be struggling with and get her to a place where she can heal and love herself and really step into the person that she's always wanted to be and the person that you've always wanted your daughter to be. And I will say this last thing and then I'm going to go. Your daughter has to want the help. It's great if you want 
this for your daughter, but we don't work with anybody. Okay. We don't work with any girl who doesn't want the help. That's, that's just my rule. Okay. Some parents don't like it because they're like, come on, work with my daughter. And we just can't, you know why? Because we have a very, very, very high success rate. And if I just let anybody into the program, then that means I don't even, that means like, I don't care about the integrity of the work that we do. So I am very firm on this. If your daughter doesn't want the help, don't reach out to us. Don't schedule a call. This is not, your daughter's not ready. But if your daughter has been asking for help, this starts with a conversation that you need to have with your daughter. Your daughter's not in this Facebook group. She's not going to see this video. You are, right? I've had so many parents over the years, you know, sign their daughters up for the program. And they're like, I don't know why I didn't do this a year ago. Like I've seen so many of your videos. I've, I've been following you on Facebook. I've been in this group for years. Meanwhile, their daughters went through like inpatient and outpatient and this and that, like all the things, right? And sometimes, sometimes the reason is, is the daughter wasn't ready. And for that, I, I totally get that. But sometimes that's not the reason. Sometimes the mom was just not buying what I was saying right? Didn't believe in this new approach. I'm a big believer that it doesn't have to get so bad before it gets better for your daughter. We don't have to wait till rock bottom. We don't have to wait till your daughter tries to kill herself before we get her the help. We don't have to wait for your daughter to go to ER or to mental health hospital before we say enough is enough and I'm going to do something different. Yes, this is different than what the doctors are going to tell you to do. The doctors are going to tell you, put your daughter on medication. The doctors are going to tell you, go send your daughter a therapist. And for the parents out there that are doing all of that and it's not working, you have to check out this new approach. This approach is based in what works. I'm not basing this out of a book. I'm not basing this out of case studies. I'm basing this out of the over a decade of my life that I have dedicated to this work and the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of girls that we have seen transform their lives. It can happen for your daughter as well. I'm gonna run, I love you guys, I'll leave the link below, watch my masterclass, book a call if you want, your daughter has to want the help. With that, love you guys.